alphas, the betas. These are demon filled. Like you are cohabitating with the enemy. The very enemy's main goal was just to kill, steal, and destroy. Whether you believe in God or not, it still doesn't change the fact that God is who he said he is. You're looking to be respected while women are looking to be loved. This is why God said, love your wives as I love you and as I love the church. God shows us through the Ten Commandments what honor, what love, what respect, and all of these things mean. Even in adversities that we go through, God will elevate and promote us to such a level, but only if we're going to practice discernment, obedience, and have fear, love, and reverence for God. Love, appreciation, all of these things go hand in hand. God doesn't expect you just right off the cuff to say, oh, I'm going to follow Jesus. Are you going to allow him in so he can show and prove? Or are you just going to be talking? Because if you're going to talk, then you're just going to be wasting time. And guess what? Satan is salivating and hoping that you're going to be wasting that time. When that last clock strikes for you and you have to stand in front of Jesus Christ himself, because to get to the Father, you got to get through him. We're not being compared to Satan because if we're being compared to Satan, we'd all be in heaven. We're being compared to Jesus Christ. This is why he says, follow me. See, I don't care what another Christian says and does because I've allowed that for so long to steal the very freedom that God has given me through salvation. I've allowed what churches and the way they conduct with these false teachings and false doctrines that is not in the word. And guess what? God will handle them. Stop allowing Satan to have such a legal ground based upon the sins. You're trading off kingdom living for peanuts i'd rather live a glorious life for all of eternity see god trades us just 50 if uh, if some of us are lucky to even live in our 90s what is that compared to eternity you're saying that you value but what you value doesn't even align with what god values you want to be promoted to a particular level because you feel like you're owed that what did you do last time i checked i wasn't crucified i'm not god i'm not all god all man We live in a male-dominated world. I know my portion. I know my place. I respect my Lord and Savior, and I stay in my lane because I got reverence, not because of what he can do, but who he is. See, it doesn't matter what you think he can do. I can believe in him as much as I want, but unless I know who he is, how will I believe what he says about me unless I know and have understanding of who he is?